Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about the custom schedules and click. So this one is not the one which uh, the click has and we will have the custom scheduling here. Uh, so the one I'm going to talk about is um, the one which is not following any pattern. Uh, we have the option for the custom schedules where we can schedule it. I'm going to have another video on that. Uh, but for now we are going to talk about the things which does not fit any pattern. Uh, for example, um, in the custom one, you can say that, okay, you know, every one hour on the between this day, this day, this day, uh, and things you can set up in parameters. But let's say you want different schedule for each day. Let's say um, on Monday, you want to reload it at 7 a.m. On Tuesday, you want to reload that on 6 a.m. On Wednesday, you want to reload that at 12 p.m. And you also on Wednesday, you want to load that uh, 5 p.m. So, you know, it's a very it's random schedule that you want to put in. So how you handle that? Okay, so the first thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that hourly reload So in your case, we are going to do, you know, hourly reload um, In here so that it checks that every hour and then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, We're gonna have this uh, schedule. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm just checking that what is the current time and then this is my schedule table. So it says that, you know, uh, uh, 5 a.m. on Monday, this, this, this and this Wednesday uh, 3 uh, as a check one. So if I am going to do that for zero at this moment, uh, currently the time is um, uh, 3. So uh, that's why it's uh, reloading the data here on this particular server. The time is 3. OK, so uh, and then and the next thing I am doing here is I say that if condition is fulfilled, it's giving me one, then load the script, else ABC, and this is basically random script which is going to give me an error. So, so that, you know, if I do not do this, it's going to be successful and there is going to be no data. So I'm making sure that it's not successful uh, so that, you know, uh, it does not uh, give me any data. Okay, you see. It cannot open the file and that error and the old data stays or reload stays. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my schedule here and I'm going to put that to 3 which is currently the time of the server. So if I reload that. So yeah, so it's reloaded all the uh, script. You saw that. Okay, so this is just a hint, you know, uh, there can be a lot of other scenarios. Uh, it's I have used the table, you can, uh, there is another way that you can do is you can write uh, conditions yourself uh, to evaluate things systematically or as many as conditions you want to be evaluated and then reload. For example, if I go in here and I say current time, it's checking that it's reload just between 9 and 17. Yeah, uh, with the three hours interval, but the same thing you can do with the custom schedule, but whenever there is a systematic condition, but the schedules like this, which is not systematic, which is random. Uh, so we can use uh, this. Uh, I'm using the inline, inline table at the moment. You can use an Excel load uh, where you can, you know, some put that data in here and uh, you can get that. And other way could be, you know, um, you just have one application for reload and another application for which is actual load. So in this case, the first it reload, if it's successful, then it actually loaded the other file. Otherwise, if it's not successful, it doesn't reload the other file. So in this way, uh, you know, you can trigger one application based on the other application and this particular the reloading application will just have the schedules. So uh, that's it. Uh, for today, um, I think you got the gist of it and there can be where different variations of this particular reload. I'm going to come to the schedule.